Spotlight Game of the Week takes us to Fisher, where the Bunnies host rival Gibson City Melvin Sibley. WCI 3's Andy Olson has more in a senior duo leading the way for the Falcons. Filling in for a future Power 5 running back was no small task for Ty Cribbett. The sophomore year when I had to really fill in was the pressure. The now Gibson City Melvin Sibley senior had a great preview in 2021, stepping into the lead back role for an injured Aiden Lawfrey, who now plays on Saturdays for Illinois. If there was any nerves, it was probably that sophomore year where he you know, had to step in and fill in for Aiden there. With the mentorship of a Division 1 back and the experience of that season, Cribbett has grown into his own with a different Aiden. Cribbit and Aiden Sankin are the thunder and lightning of the Falcons' backfield, powering the offense to a 3 and one start. I could run through those tackles a lot, and then he can get that outside and make the big, big play for us. Ty, not going to lie, is definitely a more north and south runner, someone that's just going to lower their head and get the two or three yards if he needs to. I'd like to think I'm a little bit more of the speed option. I hate to admit it, but I would say, yeah, he's faster. <laughs> The senior duo has helped the Falcons to back-to-back -back wins, including a five-touchdown game for Cribbit and a win over Eureka. That victory over the Hornets is one of three losses from last season. They flipped to wins this time around, what they're calling avenging 2022. Getting all those back is like real nice and a boost of confidence for me and everyone. We kind of wanted to make it a point that whenever you do bad to us, then there's definitely going to be some consequences. Cribbit and Sankin will look to run wild against the Bunnies in the W. CIA3 Spotlight Game of the Week in Fisher. In Gibson City, Andy Olson, WCIA3 Sports.